It is something that I live and breathe on a daily basis. I take it here with me in Functionized, and I want to share what I know to everyone out there that has a workplace environment that you spend the majority of your time. So let's dive in. Let's figure out what we can do and how it all starts. So a typical work day would include most people being there five days a week. In the modern work world, you're going to experience prolonged bouts of sitting, fast food meals, maybe morning donuts, and those competitive and repetitive eye strain. So if you're staring at a computer, if you're watching this, stand up. I'm going to just tell you right now, stand up. So we're going to talk about ergonomics and many things throughout this webinar. So first of all, sitting has been shown to be very detrimental to physical and mental well-being. So let's just go ahead and remove the barriers that we can remove. So the main five areas of well-being include purpose. So we all need a purpose and to be motivated each day to achieve our goals. We all have a social component, needing supportive relationships and love in our lives. Financial wellness, so managing the economic life to reduce stress and increase security. Community, we like to know where we live, you know, feeling safe and a part of the community. And physical, so having good health, having the energy to get things done on a day-to-day -day basis. So using these five areas of wellness, I'm gonna implement different strategies that you can use to enhance each of these areas to be functionized. First thing, some of these things that you can do, you can do on your own, and the other ones that you can involve your HR departments. So we'll talk a little bit about which way you can do things for yourself and when it might be appropriate to involve the HR department of your organization. Step number one, drink more water. You can do it any time of the day, bring insulated cooler, keep your water cold. If you're not a fan of water, there are many infusion bottles that you can use. So you can incorporate different fruits or vegetables. I personally like water with cucumber, lemon, and a little bit of mint. Sometimes water can be very mundane, but is an essential component for you to function and improve cognition throughout the day. And sometimes you get that three o'clock lull. You might be wondering, I just hit that wall. What am I doing? You might be dehydrated. So remember, Keep drinking. It's okay if it means two more frequent bathroom breaks because now you're getting a chance to get up and walk around, which your body is actually wanting to do. And one of the things you can also do is lunchtime walking. I actually have quite a few clients that decide every day they're going to get up and they're going to walk because it makes them feel good, it re-energizes the body. You're getting the blood flow to the body, to the brain, which is an essential component of more production. So improve your cognitive functioning, improve your well-being. Eat better. I know that's a really broad term. What does it mean to eat better? Well, the first step that we have and that we offer with Functionize Integrative Therapeutics is metabolic nutrition testing. So we have said it in different podcasts, different webinars, if you're not testing, you're guessing, and always test for success. I actually just got my results back and I'm pretty shocked at what came back as foods that I thought were healthy, but they are inflammatory for me. They are not healthy for me. So the best thing to do is to know what is healthy for your specific body. We are all different. Cucumbers might work, they may not. So if you can meal prep at home, 
you take the guesswork out of eating unhealthy items throughout the day. So there's no more excuses as to you not being able to eat healthy snacks and lunches while you are in the office. You know, some of the alternatives that you can do, nuts, dried fruit, um, you know, bell peppers, hummus, guacamole, you can do a combination of those things to just have those snacks to help improve you throughout the day. We mentioned it before, but stand up and stretch often. There are apps that you can put on your phone, on your computer to remind you to stand up and move every 20 minutes because sitting all day can lead to low back pain. In addition, sitting for a prolonged period of time can be just as detrimental as smoking. So get up, try and spend at least 30 minutes throughout your work day. You can space it out to moving to get that body going. So if you need to talk to your administrator, your office staff about setting maybe some standing upright workstations, that gives you another opportunity to not be sitting for a prolonged period of time. When it comes to standing, when it comes to sitting, when it comes to computer work, you need the proper ergonomics, so that proper positioning that will reduce the need to hunch over, that constant downward motion that a lot of us tend to do. Starts with proper posture, and proper posture leads to proper breathing, and proper breathing leads to better productivity and cognition. So you want to be able to have your shoulders level, you want to have your computer screen at the eye level so that you are not looking up, you're not looking down, and your hands are not this way. So for tips, there's many different ways that you can go online and look up the proper ergonomics of having your workstation situated for your specific height and level. Time for a stretch break. So as I've been talking, you've probably been sitting, Let's get up and do a little bit of stretching. So you can roll the shoulders, go back, you can go forward, stretch your neck, each side. You can do arm circles, we can twist, just to get your body going. Set up monthly challenges. So involve your coworkers, involve your team, involve the office, and create fun challenges for yourself. So maybe it's some new goal that you want to do each month. I had recently set out a 30 day challenge to all of my followers. What do you want to accomplish at the end of 30 days? Make it smart, a smart goal. So it's specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's realistic, and it's time-based. Do you want to start walking 30 minutes a day? What foods would you like to cut out? You know, do you want to spend more time with your family? Whatever that 30-day goal is, involve those around you so that now you have more accountability and you can help push each other and motivate each other to keep going. Another way that provides motivation is to have a wellness newsletter. Functionize has a great newsletter for you guys that works to incorporate all aspects of healthy living, tips, recipes, things of that nature that you can use and that you can share. Another great activity to do is lunchtime workouts. So the Fit Lab is designed to be efficient, effective, and proven. You're not gonna spend two hours at the gym. Our program is designed for 15 minutes or less, one time per week. You can contact us on our website. You can email us support at functionize.com and we can be there to help set up a proper corporate wellness program for you and all of your coworkers. 
in addition to the proper wellness program, we offer health assessments. So knowing what you might be predisposed to, getting your weight checked, blood pressure, the doctors here at Functionize have the ability to do wellness assessments for you and those you work with. So contact us again if you would like to get that set up for your office. So early detection and prevention are the keys to leading a healthy and wellness lifestyle. I'm not sure about your company, but there are certain ones that have flexible work hours. Perhaps you can spend a little more time in the morning at home if you can do your emails there and you go into work later. That gives you the flexibility to be healthier in your daily activities. What other healthy options does your company have? or unhealthy options? Are there vending machines? Do you have in-office catering? Perhaps you can talk to the person in charge of those things and ask them to replace those vending machines with your Fritos and your cookies and your Twix bars with healthy alternatives. Or if you have online catering or in-office catering to have more salads, to have, you know, reduce the need for sugars and carbs and slowly start to incorporate healthier things for you and those around you. In certain areas, you might have a community sustained agriculture program. I know here in the Coast Neck area, there's a lot of you know, farmers and you can join co-ops and grow your own fruits and vegetables. So now you know what you're eating and you feel good about helping the community as well. You can also do a healthy recipe exchange. You know, get together at lunchtime, everybody brings something different, have the recipes available, and now everyone is involved. So when you can build the team of those around you to have similar goals, you stand the chance to be that much more successful. You want to have a happy work environment. It's tough when we're parents and we're away from our kids, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. If you have a favorite family photo of a vacation that you took, print it out and keep it in your office. If you love nature, bring in a plant. That lets you have a little bit of the outside on the inside. We here in our office have quite a few plants. We like to know that we are surrounded by the things that make us happy. One thing I really focus on and that I am teaching to a lot of my clients are proper breathing techniques. Most of us do not breathe at an optimal level, which can lead to more stress, anxiety, decreased performance, energy levels, the things that you don't realize are affecting how your body functions on a day-to-day -day basis. I love teaching breathing techniques. One of the biggest ways that you can start to implement some on your own is determine if you are a chest breather or an abdominal breather. You want to breathe through your abdomen. So take a moment now, sit down, stand up, but place your hand on your chest and your stomach. Take a deep breath in. and let it out. Your stomach should be rising and falling when you breathe in and exhale. Learning the proper rate at which to breathe is what I teach and what I train here at Functionized. If you want to learn how to do that, contact us and schedule your appointment. On our website, www.functionize.com, you'll find many different resources for the areas of wellness that you can incorporate on your own. You have made it to the end. So I appreciate all of you listening to this webinar on ways that you can improve wellness in the workplace. If you want any more information or to have clarification on any of the topics that have been discussed today, feel free to reach us, call our office, 
1-800-998-9032. Send us an email to support at functionized.com or send us a message here on Facebook and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have so that you can start incorporating more wellness into your workplace. Have a wonderful weekend. so fast with some of those and I couldn't tell you to stop. <laughs> Are you nervous? You were moving so no, fast. Not that. You were like not reading any of that stuff. Yes. I was curious if you were nervous or just No, I'm trying to not look at that so much as to speak. And then I would want to look at a point, but you'd already moved it, oh. so I couldn't go back, so I just had to keep going. It was not as...